He collects all things. He is the collector of all things. Hello everyone, this is Collector of All Things. And today I have for you another collectible from my collection. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, from Star Wars. And I decided this week to do a Star Wars collectible because of the launch of the new movie Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And yes, this is Darth Maul and has uh, pretty much nothing to do with the launch of the movie, but it is along the lines of Star Wars. And he happens to be a character that uh, I really liked uh, from uh, episode one, um, where you know, critically, uh, it got shunned, uh, that movie. Uh, everyone can agree that uh, Darth Maul was a great character. And uh, this collectible is from a company called a Gentle Giant Limited. And they make more than just Star Wars. They make all types of collectibles. That they go from Star Wars, Marvel, The Walking Dead, uh, G.I. Joe. I mean, the list goes on, Warcraft. So if you, if we take a look at this one and you know, you see something you like, uh, and you may not be a Star Wars fan. Uh, there may be another collectible out there that you might want to look at this company and see what the, they have to offer. I find it's a very nice collectible. Um, I got this one at a very good price. Uh, it, it didn't cost that much. And uh, it looks great as a display piece. I've had it for quite some time. This is a limited edition, uh, 2250 made. And uh, if we just give it a little turn around here you'll see that it is really well done and this is um it's darth maul and they this here his speed bike that he uses in the movie that that floats and goes across the desert uh is called bloodfin so i like the fact that they actually named it which is really cool and uh as you can see it almost looks like it's floating and uh, they did that by a great little attachment right if I just you know, I'll remove it just so you can see there's actually a little pin right here and it goes into the side of the the bike let's bring it up a little bit closer there's a little hole right beside it and you just slide it in and it makes it look like it's suspended which is really really a nice effect so when it's on display it really looks like uh, you, you have his speeder floating behind him his speed bike uh, Darth Maul himself I think they did a phenomenal job. Uh, he has such a realistic look on him. And uh, it, it's straight out of the movie, the scene. I love the base. The base is very solid. It's got that mirror finish so you can you can see pretty much all around. And it gives it some depth. Um, the, the figure itself, obviously, is three-dimensional. It the, the How his, his cape is kind of flowing in the wind, uh, I think that too just draws you in. Um, there is, I guess, one gripe when looking at the figure and everything. Uh, you know, I, I love the paint that they did, uh, you know, the little details of it wearing off right about here. Uh, the, the, just inside the detailing is all really well done. And you look at it and you go, this is definitely, uh, you know, a high end figurine, uh, and for the price, uh, collectible. And then you look at one part, which really, I don't know, kind of got my goat when I look at it. I guess it's not a big deal, but I figured, why didn't they take the time? And since they've painted everything really nice, why didn't they paint this section? So I'm going to go a little freehand and I'm going to show you. Right here on his console, it's just a sticker. And for me, that's, I mean, on such a really nice collectible and a really nice statue, I think they missed the boat on that. Uh, everything else is so well painted. I don't understand why they couldn't just paint the, the console. Since I display it like this, you don't really see that problem of the sticker that's on it. Um, maybe if I was a little bit more, uh, if I cared more, I'd probably take the sticker off and paint it myself. But that's not the point of a collectible. They should have went that one little extra mile and painted that little part. Uh, I, I think that if you are interested in something from them, uh, if you get a chance to see it in real life, take a look at it. And if there's something that you don't like about it, if you can live with it, go for it. Because I, overall, I think it's really well done. I like what they did. Um, I love the look of the figure. I think the casting is great. Uh, and, and I've been on their website and I've seen some other stuff that they do. And it looks like they've done a really great job. And obviously, not some they do statues and some of them will not have 
uh, a speeder behind it or something with a console. So you may not even run into that problem when you start looking at some of their other stuff. And this was, uh, or, you know, I've had this for a while. So I've looked at some of their newer stuff and they're so lifelike and extremely well done. Uh, I love the paint that they do on it and they're relatively affordable for what they offer. So, um, if you're interested in something that they, they offer, I definitely think it's worth you looking into it and doing the research. And, uh, I, you know, for overall, uh, I'm very satisfied with the purchase of this. Like I said, it was, it wasn't overly costly. There are plenty of things out there that are far more expensive. And I'm, uh, I'm overall happy, uh, with it. So I really hope you enjoyed the look at Darth Maul here with Bloodfin. And uh, if you did, don't forget to put a little like. Uh, it's, uh, it really helps out. I want to thank all my subscribers and I want to wish you guys a great day.